So the pump suppliers, uh, we will get a, let's say, with the supplier we have a pump family in which we will be able to find some similar pumps or pump arrangement. So this is done once we got the pump type. So if we find out that the centrifugal operation will be the best, well, let's go with our supplier and tell him that we want a pump that is a centrifugal pump and has a volumetric flow rate and a head of that. So he's going to recommend us this set of pumps, which are relatively close together. And even though they are separate pumps, they are very, very near between each other and you must choose the one that best fits your criteria so what do we need to consider is the maximum and minimum impeller size the velocity which the pump can operate typical values are 1750 to 3500 the power requirements the efficiency, normal efficiency, the best efficiencies and NSPH requirements and the good thing is that once we choose one we're going to find out the pump curve which we're going to analyze in the next section and of course well I don't think it's that critical but might be critical the suction and the charge sizes of the pump so you need to consider it because if you are operating maybe you know one inch pipe and these guys have one and a half inch the pump you want is one and a half inch in the suction and two inches in the discharge well you gotta change or you will need to find out a expander well here a reduction and here an expansion so once we choose for example let me show you once again the nomenclature of pumps is 3 is the discharge line 5 is the suction line and 12 is the largest impeller possible for example 2110 is 21 in the suction, 10 in the, the charge, and well, we have many values. Actually, it's here. And well, we have these right here: 1 half, 13, 10, 16, 4, 21, 5. And as you can see, this is the typical approach we're going to be using. For example, if we want a high Q or high volumetric flow rate and we want low head we should use this one if we want a high head with the same volumetric flow rate we should use this one and so on once you get the pump you're going to see that we need to check out for the specific point of operation we will find the operation point which is essentially just crossing what are the system requirements versus the pumps that we have this little point right here is the pump needed we will then try to consider efficiency, consider NPSHR requirements, and always this depends on your system. Would you want to have a pump which is very, very steep or a pump which is very, very flat? And once you find out, you ask your supplier that might be, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe this one is uh, interests you, is going to give you the uh, pump supplier or the pump diagram here, the curve, you can see head versus Q and you can see how the efficiency, the maximum efficiency is 73% and the sizes of the diameters and the NPSH right here and so on, the velocity that must be operated uh, yeah, essentially that's for this exercise let's pass to section number 3 this was a free preview, you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the link is in the description of the video, you will get all access, not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface, so for instance, if you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections, if you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.